friends, welcome to the Lori Lulu Crochet Podcast, episode 28. My name is Lori. I live in the Chicago suburbs with my husband Ryan and our two cats, Dixie and Daisy. I love to crochet and I'm learning how to knit. You can find all that goodness on Instagram and Ravelry. My username is Lori Lulu 327. You can email me, it's Lori Lulu 327 at gmail.com specific email for this podcast and there's a Ravelry group it is Lori Lulu Crochet but for your ease I have a link down below any patterns or yarns that I talk about I'll put a link in the description box down below for you and I just want to say happy new year friends new viewers returning viewers it's a new year can you believe it 2020 a new decade oh my goodness like <laughs> so um we're only four days in actually it's at my podiversary I've been doing this podcast for a year now like okay um so this you know it's a new year um it's my podcast so I'm gonna kind of change things up this year we'll see how that goes um so yeah just Happy New Year. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. Um, so looking ahead to the year, um, you know, I don't really do resolutions. Um, I've decided, I started a thing a couple years ago, uh, as many of you have done, I'm sure, um, where you just pick a word and that's your focus for the year. My words, um, I usually pick um, to kind of like focus my mental health on. Um, sorry, I'm a little congested today. <laughs> I woke up, I'm like, no, not today. Um, I'll tell you why later. Um, but, so for my words this year. Um, usually I pick a word, again, to focus my mental health on. And I will put, um, I'll find a picture online and put it as my lock screen on my phone. And so then I, like, even if I just checking the time, um, I have that picture to remind me, like, oh, you need to be focusing on this. Um, so two years ago, I picked light. Um, the picture that I put on my phone, it was like a globe of light. And then all you could see were these two bare feet and a little bit of a dress. So I'm assuming it's a lady because they were small feet. But she's dancing in the light. And I like that. Um, last year, I picked the word strong. So I had... Rosie the Riveter as my lock screen um, and that word really helped me through the year and I'm glad I picked it. Um, this year kind of came to me, uh, this year's word kind of came to me. Um, Ryan and I had done the 20 questions tag um, and one of the questions was um, what does your name mean? And so, in a roundabout way, I kind of picked my word is my name. So, for those of you, Lori is a derivative of laurel. So, you have the laurel leaves um, that they would give to the winners of the ancient Olympics. Um, they'd have a crown of laurel leaves. So, I have my laurel leaves here. Um, so, my word for the year is victory. I'm going to focus on, even if they're just small victories, it's a victory, you know? Um, so, that's one of the things that I want to involve you in. If you have a small victory, let me know about it. Put it in the comments down below. I will start a thread on the podcast group for your victories. Um, and then, if you would like, I, I would like to share them. So let me know if it's a shareable one. Kind of like um, Kalisha from the Quirky Money Craft Cast. Um, she has her bright spots, so, or her bright moments, something like that, <laughs> that she shares every podcast, um, that people have shared with her. Um, so yeah, let me know your victories. I will share mine, one, uh, one that happened last night. Um, so I'm learning to knit, and, uh, in true typical Lori fashion, just jump in the deep end and make myself learn. That's kind of how I learned how to swim anyway. <laughs> Um, so I was like, I'm going to do socks. <laughs> now this is my second pair of socks. 
Um, I did a pair and I swore I was never going to knit again. But here I am again. <laughs> um, so last night I was at the Stitch Together at my local yarn shop, Lama Lama Ding Dong. Um, and one of their uh, part-time workers, her name is Rose. She's the sack lady. And so I was like, I go there and it's like, okay, Rose, you got to help me. <laughs> um, so last week I started the heel flap. So I finished the toe, the foot. I did the heel flap um, last week and part of this week. And then last night it was turning the heel and like shaping the gussets and all that. And while I was there, and probably people didn't really realize it, although I'm not a good, I'm not one that can hide my emotions very well. <laughs> um, but I was kind of having a, having a mini panic attack and just like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? How am I going to finish this? I don't know. And so I kind of got to a place where I'm like, okay, I can stop here. It was late. I need to go home anyway. Um, so I came home and I sat down with Ryan. He decided to watch basketball. Of course, that's a bad thing to watch when you're trying to count. <laughs> but I sat down and I counted my stitches figured out where I messed up, um, or where I can fix things, you know, all that. Like, okay, I need this many stitches here, I need this many stitches here, I need, you know, so on. Okay, so I got that all figured out. Figured out, on one sock I ended up with two extra stitches, and on the other I ended up with one extra stitch. So I was like, well that's easy to fix, I can do that. So now I'm in a place where I can continue with the gusset decreases, and then up the leg it goes. Yay! <laughs> That's a victory! Yes! I figured out a problem in knitting. <laughs> so, share with me your victories. Um, shall we get on with the yarny goodness? <laughs> I think so. Um, I'm not really, so this podcast, because it's the new year, I'm not really going to show you any projects that I'm working on. My make some progress. Um, I, I do have two finished objects that I wanted to show you, um, but most of it is my goals for this next year. So, finished objects. Um, so for those of you, you probably are tired of me saying this, <laughs> but my husband and I are going on a cruise. We are leaving in nine days. And I'm trying not to let the panic set in because I'm that kind of person. And, um, anyway, so last podcast I had showed the Mickey Mouse ears that I made because it is a Disney cruise, so I needed Mickey ears for the cruise. Um, and when I showed them to my husband, he's like, can you make me some? Now, he never really make, asks me to make him anything, so that's a victory in itself. <laughs> so then I was like, well, do you want plain Mickey ears? I can do simple black and not a problem. I love you. I'll do black. <laughs> and then he was like, no, I want character ones. Well, which characters do you want? I don't know. Cause he's not a Disney person, so he doesn't know Disney characters. <laughs> so I got on Etsy, search Mickey Mouse ears, and I just like, scroll through there, pick which one you like. And so not only did I have to do one set of Mickey ears, I had to do two. <laughs> First he picked Iron Man, which, okay, I looked at it, like, I can figure this out. And then, um, this, the other one he picked was Nemo and Dory, which, we used to have a saltwater tank, so we had Nemo, we always had a clownfish or a blue tang all the time. Those are very hard to keep up, so <laughs> when we moved we took it down, um, and we haven't put it up yet. Um, so, what I did was I used, um, the ears from So Rella's Floral Mickey Ears. Sorry for the ambulance. <laughs> um, so I just used the ear part, um, and the colors that I needed. And then I went and bought felt, and we crafted together. So he helped draw everything and cut things out of felt. And then I hot glued everything on. And so, let me show you. So this is Ryan's Iron Man. It's kind of messy up here, but I mean, once it's up and he's kind of tall, so nobody's really going to notice. I thought the face 
the mask turned out really cool. So we have the arc reactor and the mask for Iron Man. I'm very excited about those. And he's really excited, which is a good thing. Um, and then Nemo and Dory. <laughs> um, yeah, these. this was kind of more difficult. Um, although the arc reactor, I think, was a more difficult part. And I was like, you just want the tail on Dory, not on Nemo? And he's like, I want more yellow on it. I was like, okay. He's the one that has to wear them, not me. That's what he wanted. So, there's our Ryan's Mickey ears. And so, we are ready for the cruise, mostly. <laughs> Um, like more about finished objects. Let me just tell you. So I am a very organized person. I like to have, um, spreadsheets and all that. Um, it's like when I have ideas, crochet ideas, patterns that I want to do floating around in my head, it drives me nuts until I write it down. So I started a, um, a spreadsheet. Oh, I don't have a good print out of it. <laughs> I started a spreadsheet on Google Drive so that way I could have it on my phone and have it with me always. Um, so I have a column for finished objects, I have a column for my makes in progress, I have a column for I have the pattern, I have the yarn, they're ready to start. And then I have two more columns, um, pattern ideas that I have and then yarns that I have that I need to figure out what to do with. So that's my, that's my system. Um, but when I did that, I decided to keep a tally of how many projects I did, how many finished objects I had. This is 2019's list. And then I kept a tally. So, counting Mc Ryan's Mickey ears, which we finished New Year's Day, which I'm counting that for 2019. Um, I did 137 projects. Now I'm including little hats, I'm including all the pieces of my nativity sets. Um, the nativity set was 10 pieces, I did 5 sets. That's 50 pieces just for that. <laughs> um, but my shawls, everything included in that are my 5 uh, patterns that I released this year. Or last year. And so... <sighs> anyway, I was a busy little beaver. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's see what 2020 brings. Um, so with that, let's talk about goals. Okay, so goals for 2020. I decided to, I'm going to participate in the Make 9 Challenge. Um, I think it's just Instagram. I'm not sure how it all works, but you pick nine patterns and your goal is to make all nine by the end of the year. Um... So my Make 9, I structured around knitting, because I want to be a better knitter. Most of them will be vanilla socks, um, and with that I'm going to try different heels, because um, the heel pattern on this sock that I'm working on, I, I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> so try different heels, see how I feel, uh, may do an afterthought heel, which when I did my first pair of socks, um, like my friend cast on for me, my friend did the afterthought heel, excuse me, um, and she did the cutting, because I was like, there's no way I'm cutting my yarn, um, and of course Hannah from the Cozy Cottage is like, it's just yarn, you don't need to worry about it, but that's my hard work too, <laughs> so I have a real issue with cutting for an afterthought heel, we'll see. We'll see how 2020 shapes up, but um, I have most of the yarns for all my knitting projects, so I might make nine. Um, there's one skein that is yet to be shipped. Um, they say it's going to ship on the 9th, and so it will be here on the 16th, which I'll have a nice surprise when I get home from the cruise. Um, Alright, I'm going to stop talking about the cruise. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, no particular order, I'm just going to grab what's in my basket here. Um, and sorry for the rustling, um, we had moths in the house, so all, all my wool is in Ziploc bags. 
So, I'm warning you ahead of time. Um, the first one, I just wanted to share this lovely package that came in. Um, and it's, you've got, you can see that, you've got bee mail. <laughs> so this is from Bumblebee Acres Farm. Um, they are in Northern Illinois. Um, I've never heard of that town. Uh, Love Park. Um, but they're in Indy Dyer. I've seen them at uh, Stitches Midwest at Michigan Fiber Festival. I love their colors. They are wonderful. They have a podcast. Um, although she's, they moved, so they, their podcast hasn't been very regular. Um, but I was watching their vlogmas. They did some vlogmas this year. And um, let me show you. So the first one I want to show you is, um, it's on their squishy sack base. Both of them are. It is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. Um, this colorway they talked about in their vlogmas. Um, and they only dyed five skeins. So I got one of them. Um, so yeah, they talked about it on vlogmas and I was like, Oh my goodness. And then later that afternoon, or later that morning, my boss gave me my Christmas bonus. And so I immediately went, put it in the bank, and then came back and bought this. Oh my goodness. Look at how pretty this is. That blue. Oh. And there's pink and yellows. Oh my goodness. So the colorway is Happy New Year. Perfect for 2020, I think. Um, the second one that I bought, again, sorry for the wrestling, um, is again their squishy shock pattern. Um, this is a Harry Potter inspired yarn. So I can use this in the Wizarding Mal. I think that's what it is. Um, it's being run by Claudia the Crochet Luna and Hannah from the Cozy Cottage. Um, and it's a year long Mal. You make sacks. And you're going to sew bags. Um, go watch their podcast. They can tell you more about it. But this would be perfect for socks. That would go in the Wizarding Mouth. It's this beautiful skein. It's called Dobby's Christmas Stocking 2019. And look at those colors. Oh my goodness. Purple and green and red and blue. Oh my goodness. I'm wondering if this is self-striping. We'll have to see. Um, but for this one, I figured Hermione's Everyday Sock would be great for this. Um, but that's a cuff down. I want to do my sock's toes up. We'll see how I feel about doing cuff down later. Um, so there's those two. Um, the next one in my Make 9 is this lovely skein. You've seen it before. Sorry. Um, it's from 100 Ravens. It is 100% merino wool. Um, and the colorway is called Starry Night. Um, because it doesn't have nylon in it, I will not be making socks. I will be doing the sock head cowl with that one. Then I have my leftovers from my Waru shawl. Um, this one is from ND Yarns. Um, it is the colorway Extrovert. It's bright pink with yellow and black and blue and purple. Um, it does not have nylon in it either, so I'm going to do the Barley Light. Um, there's the Barley Hat by Tin Can Knits. That's for a DK base. This is fingering weight, so the Barley Light by Tin Can Knits is what I will be doing with that. Again, stretching my knitting muscles <laughs> for that. Um, the other colors from my Waru shawl is from Apple Fibers. Oh, there you go. It's white with purple, pink speckles. It is um, the colorway Sweet Pea. So I will be doing shorty socks. We'll see how much, how, like, I'll start at the toe and go up. See how much sock I can get out of this. Same with this leftover. Um, this is Birthday Cake 
from Adelaide Fiber Company. It is a light pink with blue and pink speckles in it. Again, Shorty Socks for that. Um, and then that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is on the way. Um, <clears throat> So the next, I think this will be my next sack on the needles. Um, I've had this yarn for quite a while. It is West Yorkshire Spinners um, Signature 4 Ply. So it is, uh, oh, the tag is covering it. 75% um, wool, 25% nylon. Um, they don't have a colorway, although I figured, I looked it up online and I think it says Rum Paradise. So it's a really pretty rainbow color. And then I got this to go with it for heels, toes, and cuffs. Can you even see sparkle in there? Oh, there you go. A little bit. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, a, a mini that they had at the shop um, at Mama Mama Ding Dong. So I think these will be my next socks on the needles. And then... This one again is from ND Yarn Company. Um, they sell a bunch of uh, my local yarn shop. Mama Mama sells it. Um, and this is actually a colorway exclusive to my yarn shop. Um, but this is a sock kit. It is um, it's an 80 20 blend of Superwash Merino Nylon. Um, so it has a mini for heels, toes, and cuffs. This is the Yax colorway. Yax is one of the owners. Um, so here's Yax's colors. These are so gorgeous. I can't wait to do these. <laughs> That's my Make 9 for 2020. Um, let me get some of these out of the way so I can get to my papers. Now, I'm not giving up on crochet, just so you know. Um, I do have a list of patterns that I'm ready to start. I have the yarns. They're ready to go. Um, I'm working on a couple. I have a pattern um, that I'm working on right now. Um, the pattern pretty much is done. Um, but I just need to finish the project. Um, and then I want to try it again. And then I'll, ha I'll, I'll put a link out for testers. Don't worry. Um, I have an idea for another. Well, I have a name for a pattern, <laughs> an inspiring woman that I want it to be about. Um, I don't have an idea of what that pattern will be, <laughs> what that item will be. Um, so we'll see. I have yarn for another pattern. Um, I don't have a woman yet or anything like that. We'll just see what 2020 says. Um, comes up, you know, what comes to me. Um, but I do want to continue my inspiring women series. Um, women who inspire me, <laughs> and I want to make something in honor of them. So, um, but as for as patterns that I um, am I, that I am ready to start, that I didn't write these patterns. Um, so the one that I have that like this is the next on my hook is the Ebbing Tides shawl which has this gorgeous cable up the side. Yes, you can do cables and crochet. Um, I have the yarns downstairs, sorry. Um, but that will be getting started soon. Um, <laughs> I have sticky notes telling me which yarns to use. Um, I bought this cowl pattern. It is the Claudia Cowl by Rosina from Zines and Roger. And Claudia is Claudia from the Crochet Luna podcast. Oh yeah, and the, oh, let me just poke myself in the eye. Um, Sam from the Sam Squeak podcast is, did the Ebbing Tides. Um, we have Lacey from Hooked on Owls. She did the Sonora shawl. So I have yarns for that. Um... <laughs> Oh, all my post-it notes here, because I'm a little organized crazy. Um, and then, one that I'm really excited about is the Blurred Lines by uh, Deanne from Addie Day Designs. 
She has a podcast as well. Um, I have the yarn all ready for that. Um, I'm going to use the loops and threads. I actually have the yarn with me right here. <laughs> it's in, and it's in a bag. It's all ready to go. I don't think I have the hook in here though. Um, but I'm using loops and threads wool like. So I have navy and purple, of course, and red. So I'm ready to get that one started. Oh no, purple overboard. Oh, but <laughs> let's not think of things going overboard, shall we? <laughs> and then, um, lastly, um, I find um, one of my Christmas presents uh, was a gift card to Hobby Lobby, so I went and got yarn so I could get started on the Ava cardigan. I'm super excited. Let me show you that. Um, it calls for um, Hobby Lobby's Yarn Bee um, Soft and Sleek DK. Um, so it's 100% acrylic, low pill acrylic. Yeah, so I got this color. Oh, <laughs> this is linen. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I have, to go with it, I have ivory. And then the main color. I picked denim. So it'll be a blue, white, and gray striped cardigan. Um, Hannah from the Cozy Cottage is doing um, it's a cla the classics. Is that what I'll put a link. I'll put a thing down here the hashtag. Um, but it's items that you will that you know you will wear all the time. Um, so I figured my two sweaters will go on that. Um, Let's see. That's pretty much all the yarny stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for 2020. <laughs> Got lots of stuff to keep me busy, and who knows what else will come across my path this year. Um, <clears throat> so, as far as, like, I try to record every two weeks. Um, in two weeks, I will be getting home. I will be coming home from the cruise. So... I don't know. <laughs> I doubt I'll be able to record in two weeks. Um, but as for today, like this is what I'm really excited about. And why I was upset when I woke up all congested and icky. Um, my mom is on her way. She's coming down. And we are going to go to the Drury Lane Theater in o Oak Brook. And we're going to go see the Broadway musical Mary Poppins. Like I even have my Mary Poppins necklace on today. Ready to go. Um, and I'm drinking tea from my supercalifragilisticexpialidocious super mug uh, that my beautiful cousin Tiffany sent to me. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, but then next Saturday... I'll need your prayers for next Saturday. Um, so my husband is on track to be ordained this year, um, an ordained pastor. And for the Church of the Nazarene, which we are a part of, they have a very specific plan, like, this is the path you take to become an ordained pastor. And that includes next week is ordination interview. And not just him. I have to be interviewed as well. <laughs> so I'm kind of nervous, um, but I'm glad it's going on. It'll happen before the cruise, and then I can just have fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, prayers for that. And I hope, I think I'm going to try to record a little something before I leave on the cruise because I have that Monday off and we're not leaving till the evening or flying out till the evening um, to go down to Florida. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes and your subscribes and your comments. I hope you have a happy new year. God bless. Bye.